Hello, everyone. Right. Um, first of all, an apology for those of you who were expecting that me to finish some bits and pieces and show you all before Christmas. Didn't happen. So sorry about that. Um, yeah, I've sort of I bought my shelves of shame to finish, but didn't manage to finish the last Hazar unit purely because of work, family life on the run up the two weeks before Christmas. It just didn't happen. And also sort of like friends and family coming around to stay and, you know, all the little DIY projects, decorating, things like that. So, and then obviously with the Christmas and, and now we're in the lull between, aren't we? Between Christmas and New Year, that sort of the M Bermuda Triangle of Christmas, of the Christmas period. You're not sure whether you should be at work, shouldn't be at work, or relaxing or really getting on with stuff at the house so anyway i hope everyone's christmas has gone well uh mine mine has been very very um relaxing actually the last three or four days because it's also my daughter's birthday at the same sort of time so that was enjoyable um and then christmas got a few things for christmas but first of all my son i organized for i went to um warfare at reading when was that? November? And um, my son really took a shine to a couple of game systems over there. And I thought, well, bear with me and we'll sort of like see what we can do. So what I did, I contacted Steve at Asylum Wargaming. And I have to say, came through, came trumps. So top thing for Asylum Wargaming. Got the stuff on time before Christmas. All the stuff I wanted. Really good service. So... Go check them out for a start, Silent the Wargaming. Um, so, first things first, he got, he was very taken by Empire of the Dead. So, he got a load of Empire of the Dead stuff. Uh, so there's a gentleman's club. Now, I don't know a lot about this. Well, nothing. Um, the Brotherhood. And a couple of blisters of Jack the Ripper and Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Now, and also he did get the rule book, which is upstairs in his bedroom at the moment that he's looking through. So that is a project I've got to do and paint up in the next month, January. I want to get my um, hussars finished and then I'm going to paint all this. Now, it looks quite big boxes. But there's only eight figures in each, there's only 16, there's only 19 figures here to paint. So I'm thinking, actually, it's not going to be too big an ask. Um, so that is what I want to do over Christmas and the new and the beginning of the new year, is just finish this size, get them to bed, get them out of the way. Then I'm going to get on with the Brotherhood and the Gentleman's Club and the other two small blisters. And then we hopefully, by the end of January, get a good game in of this Empire of the Dead. Which, a bit of um, gothic steampunk Victoriana type thing by the looks of it. Um, so, right. And this year, I didn't ask for much at all. So if you're expecting a huge pile of lead, aka, well, like Fraser got, you're going to be sadly, sadly, sadly disappointed. Um, I basically got two things, and they first things first was I wanted to, you know, I did wrote, I've done, I've got a Roman army, and still going to expand that, but this year I want to do a few um, barbarians to oppose them with. So what I decided to do, I looked at it and I've seen Celts and all this and I didn't know and then I noticed because I wanted to do Britons and I thought well is there a generic thing and then I noticed this box which is the ancient British warriors from Warlord Games 40, 40 figures I thought and that they were less than 20 quid on Amazon so I put I basically bought them for myself and gave them to myself um, but the only difference is it's all the Celtic sprues as you get in all of their uh, barbarian sets, all the warlord sets. But they put a big um, bag of 
extra bits, like all the heads are changed, I think, in these. Which I would have probably done some head swaps anyway. I've got some spare Roman heads and auxiliary heads, which I would have swapped over, and a few shields, um, just to give them that sort of like little bit of flavour, picked up bits off the battlefield and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so I've got that, which in fairness is very similar. It's exactly the same figures as the Celts, as all the Gauls, Celts, whatever, and I think the Germanians are the same. They just add a little bag of Britain parts. So, got that. Then the next thing I got, I got a book. Now I know a lot of people probably got this for Christmas. Chosen Men. It's the latest offering from Osprey War Games rules. And it's all about um, Napoleonic skirmish. And it's got a few generic lists and bits in the back. The rest of it is, I mean, it's only a 64 page set of rules, so it's not huge. It's quite a basic set. Um, I've only read, I skimmed through it. Looks interesting. I'm willing to give it a go. Um, because what I've been trying to do is with my skirmish units for my Napoleonics I'm basing them on 1p point 1p coins so the skirmishers can go skirmishing out the front of my units or I can use them for a game like this now I don't know whether to go down this route or the sharp practice route but this seems to be to me the smaller scale skirmish that that seems to, sharp practice seems to be grand scale skirmish and this is I think, if I'm right, I think it's uh, it suggests playing with that. Oh, so I don't get this really wrong. Oh God! Each unit is comprised of five to twenty models. So if you've got three units, you could have fifteen unit, fifteen models on the table, something like that. It's supposed to be quite small scale, I think, and then. Obviously, with sharp practice, I think it's I think it's slightly larger. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but anyway, for I think it was eleven pounds. I thought let's give it a go because they're usually quite good fun to simple, not overly complicated. That's the thing. So yeah, and that was it. And as a little bit of a, I had some time the other day, so as I. Knew I had that. I've just done a 95th Rifleman. Just as a... I've got about 16 of them to do. But that was my test figure that I do with everything. Just to start it off. So so yeah. That's... That's what's happened to me over Christmas. And what I've been up to. And um... Yeah. And well, I might as well just... And my projects for the new year. Well... I don't actually have any new projects. I'm not going to delve into a new period. I thought about it and I ummed and ahed for long, long and hard about um, American Civil War. Um, but probably on the skirmish side of it. But I've shelved that idea. Um, purely because I don't know whether it's too samey to what I've already got. Um, I've already got a collection of Napoleonics and this, that and the other and and also I'd like to sort of combine a bit of skirmish with Napoleonics so I've just sort of like so my project for this year is nothing new it's all going to be adding to what I already have um, making my Napoleonic army larger sorting out my 15 mil World War II which is the big project after now I've got these to do for my son. So sort of January, end of January, February, get the World War Two 15 mil put to bed. Then, then it's going to be a lot of in and out of various periods, like with the Romans, Napoleonics, the 15 mil Seven Years' War that I've got, all that, plenty of it, and also um, I'm going to salute. I want to go to salute this year. So I plan to pick up some bits and pieces for my 
pirates that I bought two years ago and I painted my set of pirates and my two friends still haven't but I thought to myself if I want a new project I've already got a project started with the pirates and I've got I bought this a few years ago when it first came out never played it um, looks again basic like the chosen men one um, so I'm, I'm thinking about well let's sort of expand that and so that's going to be my thing to look at when I'm at um, salute this year so all in all nothing new just expanding everything that I've got um, yeah so anyway I hope you're all well hope you've all had a very good Christmas and New Year and I will see you in the new year bye bye <laughs>